Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Fuller here. Thanks so much for checking out these videos where we talk about meta sounds, audio design, sound design, game audio, composer life, all that cool stuff. In today's video I'm going to cover a really cool topic that's often misunderstood and a little confusing if you're not used to using it, and that is the idea of audio buses and source buses in the Unreal Engine. I know if you're coming from the world of audio, sometimes these terminologies can get a little bit confusing until you kind of get used to them, but essentially what an audio bus does in the Unreal Engine is it allows you to pipe multiple audio sources into one bus. You know, uh, think of it like a pipeline basically. An audio bus exists, you create an audio bus and here it is. Nothing is sending through it, nothing is receiving it. So it's there, it just exists. Then what you can do is you can send the output of meta sounds or sound cues or whatever into this audio bus. And essentially the audio bus by itself doesn't do anything. However, when you add a source bus to it, then what you're allowing it to do is you're allowing the audio bus to have an output. In this case, in this example that I'm going to show you, it's going to show you how to use a source bus to basically create a speaker inside your game. We are creating an, an old kind of old style FM radio. And what we're doing is we're using the audio bus to send all of the stations through and also the static. And then we're using the source bus to actually be the speaker in the world that's going to render that audio. And what's cool about that, when you use a source bus, you can then apply attenuation and concurrency settings and all these effects that will affect all of those sounds, kind of like a subgroup. And so it's a really cool thing because then you can walk around the object. The, the sound changes as you get further away from it. And you might be asking yourself, well, why not just put the sounds in there? Well, because if you put the sounds in there, you, then you'd have to treat them all individually. It's a lot of extra work. Whereas if you just pipe any sounds you want through that audio bus, everything that's happening to that source bus is then happening to all of those audio elements. So it's a really cool thing and it's pretty easy to do. So let's dive in and I'll show you how to do it. Now in this demo, I have my FM radio. As you get closer to it, you kind of hear the static come up. That static is a meta sound uh, pink noise generator. And then I'm gonna click on this knob and this is gonna allow me to scroll through a few stations here. And, I said, see you later. and you'll see also the visualizer. And then you've got some static as the there's the static clears up a little bit and then you go to another station. A little Christmas music for you. A little surf music for you that I wrote with my good buddy Michael Hodge. Uh, he's playing guitar on this track. He's a killer guitar player. And then I uh, got a pop song here. My friend Corey Ward and I wrote this song. And then it just back to some Christmas music, and then a, a Thanksgiving song, Turkey in the Straw. What do you know, this is a kid's version song that I did for Blink-182 style kid's song. So then as you walk away from it, you see it gets softer, and the radio still works, it's just further away. Super cool. All the way to the edge. And all of this is done with the source bus which is really cool. So I'm not gonna show you how I built the radio in this video because that that's a whole nother beast and we'll, we'll do that, I promise I'll, I'll do that in a separate video because there's some really cool meta sound and blueprinting stuff going on here. You see the triggers and all that stuff. So uh, I'll do that in a separate video. In this one I just wanna focus on the audio bus uh, and it's pretty easy to do. So what? Uh, let me create a new folder here called tutorial. My, oh gosh, tutorial. That's not even how you spell I don't even know how to spell tour. You would think I did. Uh, that's not right. <laughs> My inability to type and spell. Uh, okay, yeah, it's definitely an A. <laughs> oh, gosh. My inability to type and spell are only amplified when I'm recording YouTube videos. All right, so we have to create, we have to create two things for this to, well, three things for this to work. Uh, we're gonna create the audio bus, which is the pipeline. So we'll right click on audio, down to mix, cause that's a mixing thing, audio bus. We're gonna go AB for audio bus, and we're gonna call this radio two, uh, because I'm gonna put another one in this world. Okay, and then we'll click on audio bus and we'll select it to stereo. We want a stereo audio bus, and that's it for the audio bus. Now again, this is useless right now. <laughs> 
So we, now we're gonna create a source bus because the audio bus is there, but it needs a source bus to render that audio. Um, and the cool thing about an audio bus is when there's no audio passing through it, it doesn't use any CPU. So it's a very cost effective way to, to do this. It only use CPU when the audio bus is active. Now you have to activate your audio buses in order for them to work. Uh, the workaround for this, if you want a default audio bus, you could go into the settings of your project and you could select a default audio bus and then that audio bus starts uh, when the game starts. But we're not doing that. We're going to keep that and we're going to keep this one manual. So we got the audio bus. Now what we want to do is we want to create a source bus. And the way you do this is you go down to audio source source bus. It's the only option you have. I'll go SB for source bus. We're going to go radio two. So now this is our source bus. A source bus can now act literally as a source of audio. You can drag that in like you would a sound cue or a meta sound. Um, but right now we have to assign that audio bus to it. So we're going to double click on source bus. We're going to change the source bus to stereo. And then under source bus destination audio bus, we're going to select the one we just created, audio bus radio two. So now what this is going to do is it's going to receive audio from anything that's going to that audio bus and it's going to output that. We also want to select the bass submix as the master submix and attenuation settings. Okay, let's make an attenuation setting as well. So right now we have none. We're going to uh, create a new sound attenuation and this, we're going to call this radio two. The reason we're doing this is because we want to be able to walk around the sound and have it affect the sound. So source bus radio two. Uh, we're gonna go, let's go closer and let's make this a little bit smaller. Let's go a thousand, no, let's go 850, 850 units because we're gonna do a smaller uh, listening radius. Okay, so that's how you set up the audio bus and the subgroup. Now what we wanna do is we want to create a meta sound that we're gonna play. And so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna go audio, meta sound source, go MS, um, radio two. This is gonna be real simple. Uh, I just wanna create a wave player that is stereo. We're gonna change this meta sound to stereo, just keep everything stereo. We're going to do, um, let's go further than crazy. That's our track I did with Corey. So let's go boom. Boom, so now when we play this, you'll hear this, okay? But I don't wanna hear this. I want this to only play through the audio bus. So how do we do that? So let's disconnect audio, move these over here. Let's take out the on finish. Actually, we can leave that on because we're just gonna, um, we're gonna let it, when it finishes, it'll end. Okay, so um, we wanna write this to the audio bus. So now what we have to do we need to send this audio while it's playing to the audio bus. And the way you do that, you go write, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna write this technically. It's a weird term. If you're in the audio world, you don't use that term a lot except for automation, but that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna write audio to the bus. Which one? Radio two, that's the bus we just created. So now when I hit play, you hear nothing, but the audio is going to that bus. Now we have to activate that bus to hear it. Well, two things actually. We got, and this is really important because if you can do this and get really confused. So let me just move this radio. Let me move an another radio over and bring over the light and everything. So let's move this so we just have a reference point from where the sound is gonna be, okay? So let's move, let's move this over here. Let's get rid of these guys That's from an old one that I was working on. Let's move this around. And just so we have a little bit of light source so we can see it, that's perfect. And that's it. So we're going to have this one <clears throat> is where the second sound is coming from. Actually, let's move it a little over a little bit further. All right. So right now, this is just an object in space. <clears throat> it's not doing anything. So what we need to do, okay. So now how do we make all this work? And this is kind of the conclusion of making it worse. Well, the first thing we want to do is we want our source bus radio, which went in our tutorial folder. We want to bring this over to here. So we're basically treating this like a sound source, okay? But the sound is gonna be from the audio bus that's being written. Now you see the attenuation settings because again, we apply the attenuation settings to this sound right here. So that's what we, and that's what we want because as we walk closer to it, it it's gonna get louder and as we walk further away, it's gonna get softer. Now if I hit play, you're not gonna hear anything. Just trust me on that. Why are you not gonna hear anything? Because we're using a meta sound, and here's where it gets a little tricky. Because we're using a meta sound, 
that meta sound needs to be playing. Okay, and the way we're gonna get that meta sound to playing right now, we're gonna bring it in the world also, and we are it's gonna set to auto activate. So when the level starts, that song that sound is gonna be playing. However, you won't hear it because it's playing through the audio bus to the source bus. As we get closer to it, then we will hear it, and it's a beautiful thing. And that's all we gotta do. Let's check it out. So here's our original radio. Okay, let's dial up a station. Let's go Christmas music. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, now we're walking further away from this one. Now let's walk towards this one. Nice. So this song is playing because remember it already started. Check that out. So here's radio number two. Sounds awesome. And then we'll go closer to this one as we... So check that out. So now we're using two audio buses and two source bus mixes, two source buses to put our sounds in 3D space. So that's the cool thing about the source bus is you put them in space and then you can pipe audio to them through the audio bus. So this is a really important feature. Don't sleep on this one. I would get familiar with this because this is gonna come in real handy. One other thing too, if you go to the Epic Games <clears throat> website, and you look at their uh, audio bus overview documentation, you'll see a lot of cool things. Like for one, you can, so there's two main reasons to use an audio bus. One is what we just did to combine sounds. And then the other is to perform audio rate modulation. So for example, you could use one audio bus to affect a compressor on another one. So maybe you had a bunch of explosions and machine guns, but then someone started talking, you could send that voice through an audio bus to signal a compressor to turn down all of the sound effects so that when there's talking, everything else gets quiet and gets and then it goes back up. This happens a lot on talk radio and television. Um, it's called ducking, and that's something we can cover in another video. Um, so that's something to cool to know. And then down here, there's a cool little caveat as well that talks about the difference between audio buses and sub mixes. And I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on this, you can go read it yourself. But the main difference is that Audio bus cannot have DSP effects applied directly to them. Audio bus is just the pipeline. The source bus is where you apply the effects. And then the other cool thing is audio bus, like I mentioned earlier, when it's not rendering audio, it's not using any CP, uh, CPU, which is very, uh, very good. And also, obviously, it's not audible by default. You have to activate it. <clears throat> and the way we activated it here is we started that, that um, uh, source bus. So that wraps it up for this video. I hope it was fun. I hope it was educational. I hope you got some value from it. Super simple, but very powerful. A lot of times the simple stuff is the most powerful stuff and we kind of get scared of it if we don't know what it was and don't know how it works. So as you learn how the stuff works, continues to add to your sound design, audio design arsenal. So this is a big one. Uh, learn this, study this. I would encourage you to recreate this in your own game as well to get used to how it all works and kind of see some of the little things that are easy to overlook, like making sure the meta sound's playing and stuff like that. Anyways, thanks for checking out the channel. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.